in relation to the issue of um, abortion raised this morning, um, the fact is that abortion is prohibited in Ireland unless there is a real and substantial risk to the life of a pregnant woman that can only be averted by the termination of her pregnancy. Now, this follows from the provision in the Constitution, Article 43.3. As a result of the X case um, and other legal actions, the 2013 Act sought to clarify the situation in relation to the possibilities of um, termination of a pregnancy. The 2013 Act achieves this by providing for a clear line in relation to the prohibition of on abortion in line with the constitutional provision and providing for the sole exception to that provision is to avert a real and substantial risk to the life of the mother which can only be averted by the termination of a pregnancy and that is the current situation um, and that is the only means by which a pregnancy can be availed of um, the determination of the real and substantial risk is um, on the basis of um, an examination by medical experts and in the case of a uh, possibility of a loss of life by suicide also involves two psychiatrists to jointly certify that a termination of pregnancy is the only treatment that will save a woman's life. The question was relation to individuals who may wish to uh, travel to another country. Um, the legislation uh, arising from the X case and the constitutional provision uh, does not deal with issues in relation to um, any person who travels in another country uh, in terms of assisting them in that way. Um, the question of helping persons who find themselves in a situation of crisis pregnancy is however addressed in Ireland through the crisis pregnancy program um, which funds the provision of crisis pregnancy counselling services. And um, in 2013, about 3 million was provided to 15 state-funded crisis pregnancy counselling services through the Health Service Executive Crisis Pregnancy <coughs> Programme. And these services operate out of more than 50 locations in Ireland um, and approximately 4,000 women attended state-funded crisis pregnancy counselling services um, and a number attended for more than one appointment um, with the partner of a woman or family members <coughs> must also attend for support. Excuse um, me, uh, Mr. Rodriguez has a follow-up question. So, yes, on this same topic, I would like briefly to ask whether you intend to consult the Irish people to hear their opinion with regard to Article 433 on abortion, 43.3 on abortion. And at the same time, how do you reconcile the legal prohibition on abortion with the need for adolescents to be provided with appropriate medical services of any type if they are faced with any type of situation that requires medical attention? Thank you. Thank you. You may continue. Thank you, sorry. To answer the second question, first in relation to the need for appropriate services, the services reflect the existing legal position in relation to abortion in Ireland, and that is the extent to which the state services will address the issue. Um, yes, Minister. And secondly, in relation to um, consulting the people, the Minister would be pleased to answer that. Thank you very much. <coughs> Just in relation to the first part of the question, uh, as the Minister who brought in the Protection of Life and Pregnancy Bill at the time, it was very clear the advices that we had that if we were to go any further than we did, we would require a referendum. Uh, in relation to that issue, the Taoiseach, the Prime Minister of the country, has made it very clear that this issue needs to be addressed through a citizens' convention because by simply repealing the Eighth Amendment you leave a vacuum and therefore if there was to be a repeal of the Eighth Amendment there would need to be something to replace it and clearly we would need to have a citizens' convention to discuss whether A, that would happen and B, what wording would replace the existing wording. 
I just want for the benefit of the committee to make it clear that the X case from the 90s made it very clear that abortion was legal in certain circumstances in Ireland and the purpose of the Protection of Life and Pregnancy Bill was to clarify for women what was available to them under the law and clarify for the medical profession what was permissible under the law. I hope that helps clarify the situation. Nonetheless, it's a matter for the next government and uh, I make no presumptions as to what the next government A, might be constituted of or B, might do. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Sharif has a follow-up question. Thank you. Just follow up. I, I'm sorry for uh, this question, but uh, what happens if um, a victim of rape or incest uh, needs to, wants to go for an abortion? What, what are her options? Currently, the situation under which a termination can be obtained is quite clear, as just explained, and that is the extent to which a termination can be availed of, subject to the assessment by medical uh, pers personnel of the level of real and substantive risk uh, to the health of life of the mother. It uh, does not extend to the other area that you have raised. 